Hey there guys, we are back for another Clustorio episode and uh, today we're going to be starting out visiting the green circuit and processing world, uh, Shenzhen. And uh, then after that I would really like to take a look at the science production world as well. It looks like most of the players happen to be on the green circuit world anyway. Uh, so this is going to be awesome. The amount of like excitement and just interest in this is awesome. I'm so happy because I'm loving it. It seems like you guys are really enjoying it. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do these episodes as often as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and join up here and uh, and see what we can do. Uh, there, there are, as I kind of explained last episode, there are some performance issues. And uh, to elaborate on that a little bit, it's because, like, uh, you know, we have the instances separated out to, like, four or five different servers. But there's multiple instances on a server. And they are separated out, like, per, like, to separate cores, CPU cores on the server. But the main problem is that, um, the main problem is that like part of like a really important part of Factorio's performance is uh, like memory latency, like RAM latency and speed. And uh, you know, you can't separate that out um, like per uh, like per instance, right? So, you know, they may be separate out, separated out per core, but all these um, all these servers are running, all these instances are sharing the same RAM. And as you can see, I'm running super slow. I'm at 60 UPS, um, but the server is not. And that's why we're running really slow, because the server cannot keep up uh, with this. So, <laughs> uh, and I've just frozen, apparently. Um, I think I just need a power armor that kind of fixes it. Uh, I am in the voice chat with them. I've muted myself again. I will hop back in. Uh, a few comments before I do get in there uh, is what I explained. That's part of the problem we're having. Um, but also, uh, the, the builds are not that UPS efficient, um, to be perfectly honest. Um, so that's part of the problem. Uh, we are, I mean, we are making, st holy hell, dude, we're making half a million, half a million green circuits a minute. That means in 40 minutes, we would have the green circuit achievement, the 20 mil green circuit achievement. Um, this is ridiculous. So this is the green circuit and blue circuit world. We're making almost 20K blue circuits a minute. Um, if we pull up, I'm going to see if there's a county thing here. Here we go. So you can see here, we actually have about one mil of every science pack in the cloud that we could use except for space science, which is probably our bottleneck. We have a million red circuits. Uh, you know, we have almost a million green circuits, which, you know, considering we're doing half a million a minute, isn't that much. Uh, blue circuits seem to be very lacking, though. So I need to figure out where the hell I can request a power armor because this is a little bit painful. Um... Looks like maybe this one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's grab some these. Let's grab some exos. And I don't need nearly as many fusion reactors, but uh, we're just going to do that. Range. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, so this lag is on the server side, not my side. Um, so there's nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna stick these back, we don't need those. Uh, let's go ahead and stick a few more exos in there. Um, batteries, I mean, I'm not gonna be on this world the whole time, so I'm not gonna like take too much stuff. I don't think I'll even need robots necessarily, um, but this makes it a little bit more bearable. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, we have a green circuit, and again, again, I will hop back into the voice chat. I do wanna just kind of look at this and you know commentate uh, without interruptions at the moment. So we have these green circuit factories, which are belt based, um, and it looks like they are eight beacon designs, uh, which this is actually kind of interesting to look at since in my uh, tightening the belt series, I was just messing around with green circuit designs and <laughs> failed a little bit. So we have these guys requesting it. Um, we have massive amounts of solar here, uh, which I mean, we're using seven gigawatts on this world alone because energy is not shared, remember? So solar out the ying um holy mother of hell <laughs> oh my goodness guys look at this look at this bus look at this just look at this like oh my god so this is um it's actually not as bad as it looks um because to kind of inform people who may not know with the belt optimizations what happens is it kind of groups belts together 
um, if they aren't interrupted. And when I say not interrupted, I mean by like splitters or undergrounds or inserters or something. So these long stretches, you're probably like, wow, well, no wonder the server's slow. There's so many belts. Uh, but these huge stretches where there's no interruptions, um, what it does is it will group uh, a set of 200, I believe is what it is. I asked the dev a while ago, and I believe that's what they said. Um, 200 belts is essentially counted as one in, in terms of performance um, when there's no interruptions. So in these stretches, it's like, you know, there's thousands upon thousands of belts. But as far as, uh, you know, performance is concerned, you know, that's cut down massively because every like for every stretch of 200, it's only counting as one uh here so that's uh but wow um i mean it's not great to have this many belts it would be better to have the things much closer to the machines and not be doing this uh so the i mean we're i mean this is pretty impressive that we're able to make this many circuits here but the thing is guys like it, this isn't that much we need like two million green circuits a minute or something uh for 60k science a minute so you know we're only like a fourth of the way there and uh you can already see what's what's happening uh we have some trains coming in it looks like i don't know why they have trains are they doing more down here looks like they are doing more down here because again we've limited where you can put the requester like the put chest and get chests um so you like to the spawn area so that's why they're using trains to get the materials down here uh Wow, so this is a uh, this is this is impressive. But I'm gonna hop in the voice chat here, see what these guys are doing, see um, if I can contribute a little bit. But I do want to make sure I have time to hop into the science world as well and check out what's going on there. And uh, Daniel V is actually the dev of Clustorio, so that's this discussion going on. Uh, you know, he's constantly trying to sort out issues. There's still desync problems and such, uh, but we'll get it sorted. I can take the rest of the landfill. Anyone in the room? I was going to work on the rail system to get the connection set up for the next one. Sure. Do you need anything before I send the train away? No, but I'll grab the land hole and then help you. Land and then help you after. Right. Okay. Train's off. Wow. This circuit world is insane, guys. Yeah. yeah I know, right? Watch out for the trains, though. Like... Yeah, I'm, I'm staying really <coughs> clear of that area. So we need... Uh... Wagons and what do you think about the, of the uh, the 116 belt uh, thing at the, at the top? I was just commenting on that. That's like ridiculous. Uh -huh. I mean, I think we need another for it's a... super. We got the same. It's super cool, modules. but like, I mean, UPS wise, it's not That's great. It's really good though. If you look at the actual debug uh, debug uh, thing, the 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 entire like every one of those belts is maybe three segments. So they all the entire thing is is like three belts in length. Right. I mean, it, like if they if the chests were like right against the circuit builds, it would still be less. But sure. this is this is still like super cool. You yeah, but having to check the chests right against it is not possible, or very hard to do. Very hard to do. Yeah. So the server is like dying. Is what I'm realizing. Yeah, yeah. But it's not because of uh, this single map. It's because of multiple. Because I'm I'm running this fine currently, and most of the others are too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's there's too many instances running on a, on servers. I yeah. think. Wow. I mean, it's it's all, all all theoretically very fun that you can do multiple instances on one server, but I mean. In, yes. Hmm. So it looks like blue circuits are kind of a bottleneck. I, like, there's not many in the cloud. It looks like because we're lacking greens. You're lacking greens. There was like almost a million in there. Okay. I guess we're not lacking greens then. <laughs> well, maybe I don't I know. Mean, I mean, we're, we're, we're like creating um, almost five belts of blue circuits here, and the, and the same the same setup with the 116 belts is also on the Shenzhen server. Oh, sorry, is it? Is this is the Shenzhen? Siemens. Uh, it's on Siemens, Siemens, yes. Yeah. Siemens, yeah. Siemens. So we have like almost like nine nine belts of blue circuits continuously running. You also have these small uh, hills. Yeah. Right. Right. 
Also, Xterm, I don't know if you know, but we passed 2,000 times per minute uh, like 20 hours ago. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, so, so what are you at now? Are you at like 4K? I'm or not sure. Are you stuck on something? I haven't been to Nexus for a while, but or to um, CERN for a while. But uh, it looks like something's <laughs> bottlenecking it. But the point is, we're still we're still just starting up. <laughs> and we're... Yeah, yeah. This is the scary part: is that this is just the start. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, something is chewing through these blue circuits. There's like none in the cloud. Yeah, we're limited for space science. And where? Uh, none, uh, none in the cloud. There's like a million in the cloud. Hey, Kilarofa, why are you putting landfill in the locomotives? Could you put nuclear fuel in there instead? Uh, I mean, what? There's, uh, uh, there's not a million blue circuits. Oh, blue circuits, right. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, so you're yeah. talking about uh, green circuits. But could you just manually yeah, toss we'll... some fuel in it and send it back so we can keep landfilling? These solar fields are ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Why are there chests with landfill? Could you imagine what this game would be like if we could share power, though? Oh, yeah. That would be pretty insane. So there would just be, like be a nuclear one. server. I wonder yeah, what we should call it. Solar server. By the way, Chernobyl, clearly. Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. I was just thinking of that, yeah. <laughs> no, let's call it Three Mile Island. By the way, okay. uh, for the, kind of uh, some stats from earlier, Moja and I made a, a new design in Mordor for the smelting. Uh, it's an eight belt, eight belt setup that yeah creates full belts. Uh, and we calculated that if we filled the entire like 400 by 400 square uh, of the server with with that setup, we'd need five servers to to actually get the amount of plates we need. Oh like my five gosh. times the entire grid of 400 by 400 filled with smelting setups. So. Uh... We're, we have a smelting problem. Then. Well, we, we <laughs> when we realized that, we, we came up with some ideas to do it on the same uh, same map by by doing so, something like the um, with the belts up top, like where where you export over the border out to the, in the rest, to the rest of the world, then smelt it there and import it back, so you can you know have more area of the world used. Right, but, but it's gonna sense, be tricky, definitely. yeah. Wow. So blue. I wonder what the. Uh, I wonder what rocket launching is being held up by, because that seems to be the science bottleneck. Probably blue circuits, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, it's a good guess. Uh, actually, if uh, I'm gonna work on the receiving station for the green circuits instead, uh, since that's not actually complete. Uh, just walking on this server is... It's painful. South and east of the one we have. So we want to place one next to it and two below that. Sorry, I'll cook another blueprint. But a wean with a UPS like when placing is always fun. Okay, so where do we place the receiving station? Um, because the receiving station will need its own stacker. Look, make the server hang. We could just, for now, just to get it up and running, uh, so we can replace the green circuit build that is on the bottom of the square. Uh, we could just uh, run the delivery trains in the same stacker system, for now. There's there's no the good stacker, place the for it. It's by far large enough to handle that. Yeah, so there's no other good place to put it right now. Uh, 
Uh, so what? what is there not enough smelting for? I don't know. Did someone say that? Yeah, someone was saying there wasn't enough smelting for something, I thought. Oh, space to smelt. Right. But then I'm sitting on a server right here that is just sitting here completely idle because we're at the limit for whatever it is. And it has a lot of free space. Oh, uh, if it was what we were talking about just now, it's delivery for green circuits on the Shenzhen server. Um, the smelting was in Mordor for all the steel smelting, how it was not actually big enough to do all of it inside the starting zone. Ah, yeah, that's what we were talking about. Speaking of which, I want to go look at that. So, steel smelting is in Mordor, you said? Isengard. Isengard. Isengard, Isengard yeah. Mordor is mining. Mine some Moria. No, no, no. Mordor is regular smelting. Oh, yeah. Mine some Mordor. Smelting of Mordor, yeah. Then what's Mustafar? The mines are Moria. Yeah. Mustafar is uh, smelting, too, though. Yeah, we have multiple smelting uh, worlds. <laughs> we're gonna need five, like I just said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna need like five. <laughs> well, this is a smelting world. What the hell server am I on? Oh, Extem's joining. You're on Mordor. Yeah. So there's yeah. there's like one smelting array here that's not running because whatever circuit conditions someone set up are not being met. We are uh, really buffered on plates right now. So. Oh, so this world's actually, like, surprisingly empty. I know, it's got one smelting array. Oh, actually, no, it's got a few smelting arrays, but... Look, there's a lot of room. And everything's sitting idle. Yep. No, it seems, uh, I mean, not too surprisingly, it seems like the higher-end products are definitely the bottleneck right now. In my Bob's game, where I was launching two rockets a second. Yeah, that's that's not hard to do in Bob's. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that's yeah. Yeah, but that's just one situation you run out of smelting in. So it looks so the in the smelting world, the chests aren't inputting ore. I'm guessing due to a circuit condition because it doesn't need to. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's what Mojo set up. I think they're both connected input and output. Okay. Why is Mordor doing nothing? Uh, d d pr because we're backed up on plates, we have a circuit condition limiting the amount we're putting in. So th there's no reason for it to. The mortar has been doing nothing for hours and hours. It, it wasn't limited before, but when we put out, up all the new builds and stuff, we set the limits. So currently there's like uh, 200 million, no, no, 20 million. 40, 40 million iron plates, 20 million copper plates, something like that. Well, it, given it's completely idle, is there any good reason not to produce some more greens here, then? It's not going to stay idle forever. No. Not but forever, but for a if while. You've got, if you've got resource problems, if you've got, uh, sorry, performance problems on other green server builds, you may as well put one here. I guess it depends, though, if they share. If they share the same actual server, then it, it's kind of going to have the same impact. I'm not sure if Mordor is on the same actual box as Shenzhen. 
Let me check. Yes. Let's probably limit, limit that. You can no more door is try to limit it box. if you don't break it, but I doubt that you want to mess with it. So it is on the same box? It's not. Oh, it's not. Well then, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Throw some more here. I mean, yeah, this thing's doing hardly anything. Or, I mean, preferably, actually, we may want to do, like, greens just into blues, because green production is decent. It's the blues that are the problem. We're actually, yeah. uh, active on greens, everything should off. Oh, we can definitely do that. Um... Honestly, I wonder how e efficient these buckles actually are in the Shenzhen world. A lot I'm better than belts. Of just taking them. Are they, though? Well, I, I don't know those specific builds, but you can definitely, in terms of the UPS, it's more efficient for bot builds than uh, belt builds. Well, the difference between them is a lot better in 16, the later yeah. versions of 16, but it's still. Yeah, because I think what a lot of people like don't don't remember or, or don't know is that like the belt improvements, right? A lot of it has to do with grouping them in the segments, okay. but that does nothing when inserters are grabbing from them. Yeah, like no, when yeah, inserter yeah, grabs something, right, break it that. breaks it. So, yeah. So, you know, when you have an actual build with, like, inserters every five tiles, then it's not that much better than it was before the optimizations. Uh, well, it, it, it still is a lot better, but it's not, it's, oh, yeah. it's not oh, yeah. as much uh, as, as just having a long straight line with no interactions. I mean, it's still every belt segment is still like two ti two tiles, two belts with uh, like seven items on them each, or maybe eight. Uh, so it's already eight times, or well, not eight times, but a lot better than it was before. Even even if you ju yeah. use inserters on almost every uh, belt segment. Yeah, I mean, it kind of depends on the build, yeah, but I think the nominates, the nominates, right? That in general, the bots are probably going to be better, especially once you get higher bot speed, because you can just continually... Oh, we do have bot speed efficient. 15. I think we actually got... Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and that's the other thing, is that bots just continue to scale better and better as you get more research in them. Belts are finite. True. Let's hope no devs are listening. They're going to want to nerf bots again. Well, I mean, they got to give away for belts to scale. That's the issue. And like, they've, they've already talked about it. Well, but they shouldn't. No, I'm not going to get well, it. Honestly, <laughs> look at the <laughs> amount of belts we've used. I don't think there's any nerfs or buffs necessary. This isn't exactly an ordinary situation. No, but the yeah. fact that we are using them. That's more to do with uh, limited space. Yeah, we're maybe using them for convenience. We didn't have know. bots for a lot, lot for a long time. We didn't have enough bots for a long time. The, the uh, only good way to buff belts is with uh, another faster build, but researching belt speed. Research. Yeah. I mean, if you want to make something better, it's usually better to make the thing better instead of just nerfing the opposition. That's, yeah. really That's a really bad way to improve something. That's how Trump won the election. <laughs> <laughs> nerfing Hillary. Uh, yeah, do you want to stop politics here? Yeah. Um, crap, I forgot beans. Well, can we all come I together have plenty to of laugh in the country we can laugh at? If you want some, I'll give you some and you can just shift-click them. I have hundreds in my inventory. Oh, you have hundreds? Okay. Well, at least a hundred. I don't need a ton. You know, I have to say, the train slows that we're using are pretty realistic at the moment. I'm trying to do the math in my head for this build. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. Um, For, like, just the ratios? Yeah, I think that one green can feed both of these just fine. I think so. The red, I think, is going to be way overproducing for blue, but that's probably okay. Yeah. I'd rather do a direct insert build than uh, worry about anything else. Yeah, I mean, that's always better. The real question is the beacons. Hmm. 
Yeah, we need to need a one tile gap because this is not uh, for, for symmetry because that's important. It's yeah, that is. It's the most important. Place. It's actually more important than UPS. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> that's that is. <laughs> Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, I, I do disagree with that. <laughs> They agree to oh, Are you really like sure that UPS that is worth more than symmetry? It is. I, honestly, I like both that are asymmetrical. I mean, if you can get both, that's ideal. But, like, UPS affects you all the time. If something's not symmetrical, you just don't look at it. Exactly. <laughs> well, you there's just quietly cry yourself to sleep every night instead. But there's a difference between asymmetrical builds and builds that lack symmetry. Like the blue based uh, 100 and uh, million belt thing that makes blue circuits, that's that's fine because it's not trying to be a symmetric build. But if you have a build that looks symmetric but has details in it that are clearly not, then that's just annoying. True. Fair enough. Hmm. So, I mean, these, these power poles are temporary. I was just getting the speed. So. Wire assembler is super fast, but that's probably fine. Well, perhaps. Although I don't like including any belt in this at all, but uh, we could belt the the wire. Or can we rearrange so that we don't have to belt? Um, I can't think of a way to... Rearrange that so it can go both ways. Damn, this isn't... Unfortunately, this isn't even equivalent to eight beacons for these three machines. Well, I'm happy to redo, but... I actually, it's got ten... Well, it's got ten sources, but that doesn't mean anything. So six beacons? I mean, no, I mean, this... What, what you lose on beacon, you're probably saving through direct insertion. So... Like performance-wise, yeah, yeah, more beacons don't really impact the performance that much today. As long as they're fully powered, yeah. No, not well, yeah, but we're saying these are going to be slower, so we need more of them because we're lacking beacons. But right. more more builds is where we're probably fine with that because we're direct inserting. So, hmm, yeah, I don't think there's a way to. Have the copper direct insert to both. Well, that's fine. I mean, one underground is not going to kill us. Because I think that, that copper should overproduce for this build. Yep, definitely. Uh, and then this guy can direct insert here. Circuit drains moving off, guys. Yay. Okay, Blooper, are you removing the, build, the green circuit build over there with the, with the bots? Yeah, I am. Just because it was uh, uh, causing like bot feedback loops and also uh, just kind of. Right. I'm thinking of removing the other bot build because it's particularly. The, the by JD Place, yeah, I don't like it either. It's very inefficient. It's also loading two, two belts and stuff. It's, yeah. It takes up a lot of space near the border, which is valuable. But I, what I just noticed is that a lot of the blue assemblers in the giant setup aren't actually working because a lack of, yeah there's this build is not entirely perfect as, as it seems oh the big blue one yeah, uh, yeah at the end there there are quite a few assemblers and just not working they're not getting inputs or barely yeah. anything well or or, the, or the output is jammed um, I think the problem is uh, just further on, it's not producing enough green circuits or something. I don't know. No, no, no. All the belts are backed up. It's just red circuits aren't reaching the end of the of the belts, and other machines, uh, the and other machines, the blue circuit belts actually full, so they can't output. Maybe there's a belt wrong. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm. I'm looking at the build right now. I'm trying to find. Where, if there is a specific problem, or it's just in general overlooking the in the design itself. 
It's also uh, using more assemblers than it has to to fill those four belts. Like, there should only have to be 145 blue assemblers. Because it, it only seems like one half of the belt is always full at the output. One half yeah, of the exactly. belt is always, always full, and the other one is buffering. So maybe the machine count is like wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna do some math. Hmm. I wish there was a way we didn't have to use so many requesters here. Because we're gonna need like three different ones, I think. Uh, Where well, we have to count the machines that insert on the bottom half of the belt and then count the ones that are. Yeah, plastic, iron, top. copper. Yeah. Uh, guys, those loading uh, inserters, there four, four per belt is is good, but the setup you're using does not actually an empty an entire belt for the green circuit loading into the train. Um, how do you recommend changing it then? I have a good design for that. Um, let me yeah. That picture. Me as well. Uh, let me get a quick blueprint. But isn't it though? No, it isn't. You you need some shenanigans to fix it, but I have a design that does it. In Discord, I pasted a. Uh, a oh yeah, that, that's the one. With, yeah, that one is very good if you're only loading from one side. Oh, are you loading from both? Yeah, they're loading from both. We could switch to loading to one side if you want. We have well, space. no, no, you're, you're loading two belts per wagon. That's the point. I am. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, there's there's a problem at the blue build. Uh, we have 15 uh, assemblers loading on the bottom half and 23 assemblers loading on the top half. Um... Nominate, were you thinking of just getting iron just in copper straight from here then maybe? Uh, no, I was going to put a separate network up here with a get chest. Yeah. Because, uh, Fluffy, if you look at the green belts in going into the chest, you can see they stagger. They are not continuous. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess it, it doesn't really matter, but there's like... I guess that technically counts as teleporting items across this, like within the server. It but does, and it is, entirely. and it's allowed. But well, there's like the issue other is this, worlds Yeah, this too. is set down, like this is shut down completely, so we would have to like change the circuit conditions to overproduce iron in order to make it work. Right. I mean, it I... technically is, but then on the other hand, there's other smelting worlds which it might be pulling from. Yeah. Like, it's not necessarily strictly pulling from this one. Why do we but... need to revert to an autosave? Well, I'm not an admin, so I won't judge, but I would never dare do that. Daniel, why would why would we why would you need to restart the server to an autosave? Oh. He's saying C Discord. Or one of them is. So there's something wrong with the rails or something? Shenzhen didn't like rails. Delete all the rail guys. Okay, he said. Oh, Seems no. fine, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Had a good run, guys. It was fun. Yeah, I mean, we still some of the most um, oversized trains going. Wow, I like what you did with the copy paste. Oh, yeah, you just turned it upside down. Uh, Fluffy Snowcap? Yeah. I uh, put one of the loading uh, designs at the top of the green loading at the the left, the rightmost loading station. All the way at the top. That one has full full capacity. If, I it, if it's actually were... fully built. I thought splitters were bad. 
I mean... It depends. It depends, yeah. But I thought trying to use split, trying to avoid using splitters was a good thing in this. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yes. So, so however, you know, however, if you're if you're not actually loading all the the green circuits at full throughput, you're wasting other re other resources in the in the actual green circuit build. Like you're having assemblers that aren't working because the inserters aren't fast enough. Well, you we could just you so, could just uh, make it six inserters per wagon instead. Isn't that better? Uh, that or, should that should work, yeah. But that's but that's four extra inserters instead of three extra splitters, and inserters are a lot worse than splitters. Okay. Yeah, sure. I haven't got the material to make any chests. It's kind of annoying. The get chests and yeah. stuff. Where you can request, I. Yeah, the, the what, I don't know what's going on with the network setup here. I, I tried to have a quick look, but. Like, there's certain chests that do work and certain that don't. Kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, I gave you a couple. Yeah, I got one. Alright, where, so where do you want to put this? Uh, Alright, well, let's just quickly... I think I got everything set up. I don't know if these, these requests should be high enough. 250, 250. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, So, I guess we'll just blueprint it and get it out of the radius because it's currently inside an existing network. Yep. I think there's some room down here. Yep. And I think we can do a line of robot ports down the middle where the uh, liquid's going to run. Oh yeah, definitely. Damn, I didn't get robot ports. So, with the blue circuit built, we need to get four more to the bottom side of the belt instead of feeding to the top side. Uh, according to my calculations, there's even uh, an assembler too many in, in general per, per column. Yeah, that, that could be, but Let's just try to optimize the. Oh yeah, we, we should definitely switch. One or how many are there? Thirty-eight, right? Yes, and fifteen of them are putting to the bottom side. So we need four that are putting to the top side. They need to put to the bottom side. So where I'm standing, there's a rebalance. There's a rebalance going on. Here. Alrighty guys, uh, this episode has been really long. I wanted to finish this. I also want to hop into the science world though. Um, so... I think I'm going to hop into the science world and take a quick look and then end this. Uh, but this is going pretty well. I'll be interested to see how this turns out for sure. I may not be able to catch it on episode, but if I don't catch the actual building of it. I'll definitely come back and uh, and see this in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, so this has been, this is just super fun. I love, you know, designing this type of stuff and just figuring out what works and what doesn't. Um, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the science world here really quickly uh, just to end out this episode and see, uh, I'm interested in what's going on there because we haven't seen the science world at all. Uh, right now, I think rocket science is what's bottling, bottlenecking us, and I'm pretty sure that's due to the blue circuits. Um, it may be steel or something, though. I don't recall seeing that much steel in the network. Um, this this menu is really annoying. Um, okay, so, wow. We have... Wow, is this really just the whole... Wow, okay. Um, so, yikes. <laughs> Come on, game. What, what are you doing? Uh, if we look, do we have a uh, reader thingy somewhere around here? I want to see how much... So here we go. So 
No, there's actually a million steel, man. We're actually we're we're doing quite good on that. So here is not. Oh, there's a the science. So these huge bot networks are not good. Um, it's not helping. I mean, science is backed up now, but doing these gigantic bot networks is kind of what we did in the SpaceX Plus, which doesn't work very well. Um, but it's not. It could be worse. Um, so pretty standard. Uh, these are see. These are not even. They're like four. They're only four beacon. This one only has three beacons on it. So this isn't great. Um, but not too bad. So I mean, everything has what it needs. So this this is smart though. This part is smart. Um, just requesting directly from the Git chest. This is what I would have done here. Uh, very. This part is very UPS efficient, uh, requesting directly from these. And you can fit a ton around here, which is absolutely perfect. Um, go on solar again here. This is actually one of the nicer looking worlds. Um, I mean, we have science production out the yin, except for rocket science, which um, actually if... So this has everything here except rocket science. If we actually... Um, I do want to really quickly look and see uh, rocket. I think this is where we want to... J j j join game hey yo game <laughs> this is really sometimes this happens when i like go to server browse it just doesn't work like it what, what's happening i just can't join anything oh my goodness it's still just like loading so i guess it won't let me join anything until it finishes loading but it just sits here loading um well, I wanted to look at rockets. We'll do that next episode, guys. Uh, download. Yeah, great. Thank you. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, guys, as always, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, there we go. So we can quickly join this now, maybe. Or not. Uh, the servers may be breaking, although I think it... I'm not sure what's happening. There we go. All right. This episode is very long. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, these long episodes, I think, are kind of fitting for this, you know, in regards to... Um, just, you know, what, what we need to look at and everything that's going on. So if we take a look, I'm just going to map view here. Um, so we have rock control units being made. Um, is this on this server? Um, so these guys are all being, I mean, these guys are pretty much going. It's not steel. If anything, it's, maybe it's rocket fuel. No, these are, these are totally backed up. It's got to be. It's got to be these, I think. Although they're all running. These requests, I think, are a little bit low. But um, I don't know why we're not launching more rockets. I, I would be curious. It looks like it's low on everything. Or, yeah. This is a very... I I'm not sure about this. Um... <laughs> Like, moving stuff like this around. We're not launching rockets nearly fast enough is the answer. Although, these are all ready. I think what... Wait, 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 wait. Do these not have a... a um, holy Jesus. What was that? Oh, my God. Why am I in a solar... <laughs> um, I think it's satellites, actually, guys. That scared the heck out of me. Um, where is a satellite production is actually what I'm wondering. Um, well, we saw it over here, actually. It's just right here. But they're not going, for some reason. Um, it looks like there's stop for some reason. I don't know what they're lacking. I'm actually, a little bit curious. I'm way too slow to run over there. Um, well, either way, we're not launching rockets nearly fast enough. So I'm wondering what exactly. It looks like the condition may be met because. I mean, if we look here, satellites are not in that menu. Satellites, blue circuits. They don't have enough blue circuits. Um, so they're not getting their blue circuits is the problem is what it looks like. So blue circuits, as I guessed, were the holdup. Uh, it's just that, yeah, it's actually satellites in the end, but blue circuits are causing that. Um, uh, so... Yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts, questions, and stuff down below. I really look forward to the next episode. I hope you do, and uh, I hope you keep enjoying this.